Hey there everyone, uh, now we're here in hydraulics, I always call it hydraulics, I don't know why it's hydroponics, which is a completely different word, but uh, in any case, um, this is more or less the third area of the game you're going to go through in the speedrun, and it's probably one of the hardest, especially when you're uh, going for out of bounds tricks and you're small like this, there's a few special things you kind of have to do to advance through the game that can be a bit tricky. So, we're just going to go ahead and start, like always, agility. Open this door, and as soon as you do, you want to use the speed hypo and start moving through the level. So I'll go ahead and show that. Grab the agility off this OS upgrade, that's that button right there, that lets you move faster. Pick up that research software upgrade. Kind of stand out here and wait for this guy to walk over here, shoot this glass, and then bounce up over this chair like that, and then pick this stuff up. Um, you need to equip this lab assistant that you pick up out of this desk and then start researching the toxin A. Pick up the other vial there. You want to jump up onto here, get up to here, and then kind of strafe run, jump across this gap, and then out. Now, if you're not doing out of bounds and you're tall like this, you can just run through here, get this, grab this. Run through here. Don't even worry about this guy. Shoot that. And then just jump through. But, since you can't do that, uh, you kind of have to bounce off some stuff and it can be kind of hard. One thing to note is, whenever I go to this room over here, I wait a little while before going in. And that causes the guy to walk away like that. Then I shoot the glass and then bounce up over this chair and inside. Otherwise he'll get in the way. If you go really fast, you'll still have a speed hypo going here, and you can just jump straight out without hitting that middle desk, but that's kind of hard. Grab these 19 nanites off this corpse, and three modules from that desk. Around here, you're going to want to start right-clicking Antimony, because you'll need to use one of those. Then you get over here, and this is another glitch you use. You max out your research up to five, and then keep researching, and you don't want to close this menu like no matter what, so don't click anything else. And you can move all the way over here, by the way, and it'll stay open. Now what you want to do after using all the chemicals is to wait a while for it to finish researching and as soon as it does you want to click undo and then close the menu like that and then speed hypo. And what this does is it gives you back all of your cyber modules uh, so that you can reuse them for other things. Grab that from out of this room, go up through here, shoot this window, bounce through it like that. You want to go down here, you want to kind of aim right for about here, that way you land on this box and then you want to jump down. Grab the card and the nanites off this corpse, grab the nanites off this corpse, grab the speed hypo and the nanites off this corpse, put in the vial and speed hypo. And out we go. Now around here, you want to try to duplicate twice um, before you get to the next area. So I just did, so I'm gone. Um, I went ahead and used another speed hypo because you're probably going to run out of the one you used before before you get to the end of the level and there's no point in not using two or using an extra to go the rest of the way, so as you can see I can last the entire way now. Um, this room is going to change, uh, in fact this, this map will change a little bit uh, depending on whether you're small like this or not. If you're small, you need to grab these cyber modules up there and normally you would just grab them uh, on your way out of this area since you go in a loop to leave. Um, but since you can't jump up there and grab them, uh, you have to use Cypole, or you can do like a weird jump off this thing using a speed hypo, but a speed hypo is definitely, or a side pole is definitely the way to do it. You want to go over to this edge and then like aim right around here and then side pole agility. Get this off this corpse, grab this speed boost, or this cyber, or what do you want to call it? Swift boost implant, and the nanites, and speed hypo. Grab the side boost here. Duplicate. You want to duplicate up to five at this point. You're ready to put that in there. Duplicate, so now I have five. So I don't have to worry about duplication for like a long time at this point. Grab the nanites and key card. Grab these incendiary grenades. Grab the speed hype out of this. And then you want to look for the modules. Here they are. Pick those up. Two agility and one heavy. And that's it. You're good to go. Switch to agility so that you're ready to use it. Like that. And then just go speed hypo and go down through here. Now, 
There's a corpse right up ahead. It has, I think, 17 nanites. Depending on whether you're doing uh, out of bounds or not out of bounds, depends on whether you grab that or not. If you're going to go for out of bounds tricks, um, you don't need to grab that corpse for sure. But if you're going to stay in bounds, that means you're going to have to do more of the game and you need more nanites to do more speed hypos, so you would have to grab that. So for completion state right now, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Otherwise, you could just skip right over this and keep going in a straight line. Grab these cyber modules that are kind of hidden under that desk, and then put in another uh, Toxin A canister. Go back up here, then speed hypo. If you try to speed hypo on those ramps, uh, you're likely just to fly all over the place. You slip underneath the guardrail, and grab these 10 nanites from these corpses you pass. Grab these hidden under this bench. Go up here, open the store with key card. Grab these EMP grenades off the ground, and then go into the next area. Agility. Grab. Grab. Grab, grab, grab. You don't need that armor, but actually if you're doing uh, non-out-of-bounds, you need that armor. Otherwise, you don't need it, but it takes no time to grab. Normally, you would use a speed hypo here. I just sort of forgot, so I'll show you this again, the way it's supposed to look. Agility. Then you want to grab this. This. The top items. This, this, this. And then you speed hypo here. Since there's a glitch in the game where if you have a speed hypo going and you pick one up, it uh, cancels out the current effect. So you want to use it after you pick that one up, and then just leave again. And that's going to be the same, basically, whether you're doing out-of-bounds or not. Then you want to use Speed Hypo going into this area. You might want to try duping once. If it fails, that's okay. Uh, you want to do Tier 5 on this side and get Relocation. You'll have just enough. You'll have two extra modules left if you did everything right. Open the elevator, and that's it uh, for this. Now, depending on... Whether you're doing out of bounds or not, you're going to go to two different locations, either ops or recreation. Um, so, since I want to be a completionist and show both routes, I'm just going to go ahead and go to operations. So, if you're here, you're going to be standing up like this, for one thing. So, it'll come out of here. Use agility or not, you have to walk such a short distance, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go into this door. Walk over here. And you want to skip this cutscene. There's a cutscene that happens if you walk into here and there's a invisible wall that shows up. So to skip it, you throw down this armor, basically right in the middle of this uh, wall, like that. And I can go in and leave, and the invisible wall doesn't block me. And then I can leave here. Then I go over here. Put a relocation marker here next to this door. Agility. Uh, and go. Now. I'm kind of going to run low on speed hypos here because the route I'm used to doing... Oops, sometimes this robot here can block you. Uh, you kind of have to really rush in to make him not block you. But yeah, in any case, uh, the places where you want to dupe speed hypos and how many are going to change depending on whether you do uh, out of bounds or not. And the problem is I haven't done non out of bounds for a long time, so I don't remember exactly how many you need to dupe. So if you're going for that, my best suggestion would be to either... Well, I mean, I would suggest this anyway. Watch the current world record for any percent non-out-of-bounds. And also just pay attention to how many speed boosters you have and make sure you never drop below one. Basically, make sure you never use your last one so you always have one to duplicate. But in any case, this is the point where we're going to do a glitch called Ops Override. Or Ops Override Skip or whatever you want to call it. What you need to do is align yourself so that this panel on the wall says pass or less. So like this is good or anywhere up to like here is fine. So you get here, and then you want to hit quick save while aiming at it through this window. You go down below, you jump up onto this table here, and you look straight up, and what you want to do is time it so that when you jump and you hit the ceiling like this, you want to quick load. And as you're quick loading, right before it loads the game, you want to basically have you use bound to scroll wheel and then scroll the wheel really hard, and what it'll do is hit the Ops override through the glass up there and allow you to continue with the game. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Quick load, scroll, and you can see I hit the button through this window and way over there. And then you just want to relocate so you're back at the start and then leave. Agility to leave. And then here to recreation. Now, again, this is all still uh, the, out of, the no out of bounds route. You're going to come through here, use the speed hypo. 
Try to dupe. Go ahead and use the speed, uh, Psy Hypo. Agility. Speed Hypo. Relocation here at this door. Keep going this way. Go down through this hole. And you want to grab the key card off this corpse. And then relocate back to the store, use it. And then leave. Then you want to hit agility again. Switch to relocation. Go to this elevator and we're going to do another glitch where... What you do is you want to face this wall like this. Place a relocation marker. And then you want to have a key bound to lean right. And you want to hold that and then relocate. And it'll clip you through the door and it allows you to push the button on the other side. And now we're on command deck. So we've gone through rec we've gone through operations, recreation, and now we're on command. Sorry, there was a bit of a jump cut there. I decided I'm just going to show the rest of this route first. And then I'm going to show um, the out of bounds route. At least up for, through this section. So we leave here. Pick up the speed hypo. Uh, you want to be using agility, obviously. Grab the cyber modules that are in this trash can and upgrade your agility by one point to five. Then you want to go this way. Uh, grab these nanites. Use the shuttle, and then we're going to use the speed hypo and run off and run along the tracks like this. And as you're running. You can try, you can duplicate some speed hypos. I'm not sure exactly how many you would want there, but that's pretty good. You'll have more time to dupe in a second. Go into this while still moving fast, and you can bounce like that all the way over to here. Uh, place the relocation marker over here next to this button, and use agility, and use dupe. You want to dupe until you run out of nanite, so one more. Okay. You also want to put the EMP grenades in your grenade launcher. You want to line this up. Whenever this part hits this first black part, you'll see me go like this. That's when you, that's when to go. Now another thing you may want to do is try to line your cursor up around over here because that's where it needs to be. Um, to grab this corpse. See it like that? And then you want to... Ah, I can't crouch very well. Pick up this French Epstein device. Run through here. Pick up those. Pick up this stuff, fragmentation grenades. Pick up these nanites. And then you want to grab this desk through the wall by hitting it basically on the border of the wall in the window. Like this. Grab the two things here, then relocate. Uh, agility, speed hypo. You want to pull out relocation. And you want to put it like as you jump this way. Oops, I kind of did this wrong. Like this. Oops. Well, whatever. You want to basically place it like that and not lose speed going through here. Um, and then you want to bring this up. Uh, upgrade your grenade launcher. And switch to cryo. Use another speed hypo here. Recharge all your stuff. Get the nanites off this corpse. Go around this. Go up through here. Down this hallway. Up this grab lift. Press this button. This part you gotta kinda do fast. Blow out this window. Switch to your grenade launcher. Press this. Shoot the shuttle. Pick up this trench Epstein device. Leave. Go through this side. Cryo this wall. Hit this trigger that's like right here. That starts this voice line. Switch to this. Oh. <laughs> I just realized. I don't have the ice pick needed to hack this. Um, that's an item you pick up in... Uh, hydro, and I'll go ahead and cut and show you where that is and then cut back to this, so here we go. Okay, here we are in Hydro. This is where the ice pick is. And here we are again. Use the ice pick on this. Get the synthetic resonator. Pick that up. Leave out through here, this door will still be open. Um, jump through here. Place the item in here. Relocate. Mantle up on this twice. Uh, switch to incendiary grenades on your grenade launcher. Oops, where's the spider at? The spider is missing. There he is. Okay. Um, so you want to go ahead and use your relocation here. I'm gonna place one right here. 
And before all this, before this door opens, normally you have a lot of time, you want to do another one of these, but uh, it's not a big deal, I have quite a few at this point. Um, but in any case, yeah, you want to jump up onto here. And then what you want to do is use the speed hypo and jump forward and you'll skip a trigger that's right here uh, on the ground in front of you. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that. There we go. Let's skip the trigger nicely. Then just move forward and go straight up into here. Uh, it can be kind of hard with the speed hypo. You kind of want to like tap forward and then back right away and it'll stop your momentum. But yeah, that takes us to the Rickenbacker. So that's that for that route. Um, let me go ahead and make a save so I don't screw this up. So now what we want to do is we want to show basically what happens if you do want to go out of bounds. So I haven't shown this yet and I'm going to have to get back to... Actually, no, you know what? I can do it from here. This is the end of hydroponics. So we just finished hydroponics doing the out of bounds route. Um, we stayed small. We did everything like normal. Now, instead of going to operations like we did before, do inbounds, uh, we go straight to rec. And when we get to rec, just use agility, place a relocation marker on the ground here, anywhere. Uh, mantle up on this desk so that you're standing, and then relocate. And it actually didn't work. This actually happens sometimes, and this is something I'm glad happened because it's kind of rare. Sometimes, for some reason, it just doesn't put you in the ground here properly. You can see I'm still colliding with stuff. And that's not supposed to happen. It's supposed to look more like this. Place a relocation marker, mantle, relocate, and you can see I'm all the way in the ground now. And I don't collide with anything, including doors. I don't set off the trigger here or anything. I'm able to go out here and watch this guy uh, mess around and then vanish. Uh, but yeah, and then after you do that, you just clip straight through these doors using a speed hypo normally. Um, and then go here. And that takes us to command. Oops, use agility, grab this speed hypo, skip this stuff that's over there, recharge, go this way, pick up these nanites, and ride the tram, and duplicate up to 10 uh, speed hypos here. And then switch to relocation. Send away the tram from this side so it leaves. Um, and then you want to do this part, and I'm going to go ahead and slow this down a bit. Um, so I can explain what to do. Normally you wouldn't blow those turrets, but for demonstration's sake. Okay, so what you want to do here is you want to use a glitch that puts you in the ground like we just did in Recreation to skip those doors. Um, but this time we're going to do it while standing up. Since after you do that trick once, it doesn't work anymore because now you're standing up and you can't go back into that death-like ground state. So what you can do is on either side, and I suggest doing it on the right because it's easier to line up, you want to line yourself up with this line here in the middle. And just to show you, up here at the top, uh, between those two lines that go horizontally is where you want to be. And you want to place a relocation mark there as, as you're mantling, so with this kind of timing like that, and relocate, and it puts you in here. As soon as you relocate, you want to tap forward a little bit to stop your momentum, otherwise you'll slide backwards. Once you're sitting up here like this, you want to move kind of close to this edge, like this. Move it like an angle, like towards this way, so that you don't fly off. Then you want to hold lean forward, and this will happen. Then you can let go and move forward. And this puts you in the ground here, which lets you skip through this door and these trigger and stuff. So you skip a whole lot by doing that, and what you want to do is jump out of the ground a little bit here by holding forward and like left strafe and then jumping like this and I'll give you the 30 cyber modules and then you just go up here and then you're here so you can tell the going out of bounds skips quite a lot of the game um, and it's why I would suggest it to new players because it's just more fun and more fast in my opinion um, so in any case from this point forward the two routes are fairly similar. The only thing that changes is that in the no out of bounds route, you're going to have to pick up more nanites uh, than you would normally in the out of bounds route. So I'll go ahead and show that off uh, right now. You start by using agility, 
and you'll see I have modules here to afford Soma. I should explain. Because of the out of bounds route, you actually don't need Soma transference here at this terminal. If you're not doing out of bounds, then you will need to pick this up. And you'll have enough modules here. Uh, and to also get the agility upgrade in uh, command that you skip in uh, out of bounds. And the reason for that is you skip it because you don't have enough modules because you skip some objectives that give you cyber modules by going out of bounds and clipping through doors and stuff. So you have to skip out on that, but it's a price to pay uh, in the no out of bounds route. Then of course you have enough modules because you hit all the objective markers and you have enough to get uh, the agility there and also the summer transference here. Uh, so yeah, if you're... I'm going to go ahead and do that because uh, the soul apply for both routes. As you go up this, after you grab that basically, you want to use the speed eye poke. Go up this ladder, switch to incendiary grenades, and then shoot this egg once. Oh and by the way, I should mention, if you get here using the no out of bounds route, you'll have one less uh, EMP grenade and also one less uh, incendiary grenade. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and simulate that by just wasting one of each. So one and oh, actually, you know what? <laughs> I used um, I used two to take out those turrets to demonstrate how that works. So I actually have one less than normal um, out of bounds route. You have three. In bounds route, you have two, and I have one right now, but that's actually okay um, for demonstration purposes. Um, you want to grab these nanites if you're doing in bounds; otherwise, don't bother. Hit the switch, shoot an incendiary grenade over here. Your last one. You'll jump down here, switch to frags, and shoot this egg up here. Grab these nanites if you're doing in bounds; otherwise, don't bother. Go this way. Um, this part changes a little bit, so I'll quick save. Um, if you're going to do inbounds, you'll place a relocation marker here. Hopefully this rumbler won't block you. Go down here, shoot this egg. Go over here. Go through this door, grab this side hypo and these nanites. Sometimes you have to wait for these guys to like get out of the way. This can be a big problem. Then we're going to go this way. I use the speed and the side hypo here. Switch to the cyball again, relocate after grabbing those items, and then mantle over this and grab this stuff. Now if you're doing um, out of bounds, what you'll want to do is don't place a relocation marker, just go straight down here, shoot this, and then switch to relocation, and you'll want to run and jump and then jump again to put you over here. Relocate, back up, shoot this egg, and then do the rest of this like normal. Grab this stuff, relocate, grab this stuff, and then keep going. Then use the Psy Hypo. Um, since you won't have one already going. As you climb up these ladders, switch to your grenade launcher and disruption grenades. Shoot this egg, grab these grenades, go through this door. Place a relocation marker here. Turn around, go through here. Uh, grab those nanites, shoot these two eggs. Reload, so you have three disruptions. Go through here. Grab these nanites on either route. Blow up that egg. Uh, you don't have to grab this French Epstein device if you're doing inbounds. Um, you only need to worry about that in the out of bounds run because you don't pick those any up French Epstein devices up in command since you skip them all. Uh, go around this way. Go down this ladder. Shoot the seg on the way down. By the way, you can quickly get off ladders just by tapping the crouch key. Uh, that's how I do that. Uh, switch to frags as you go through here. Shoot these two eggs. Open the store. Um, here's my setup for this. I aim like right here. I use a speed hypo and then I run forward and jump like at a certain timing, like this. And that usually puts you up on top of that. It's kind of finicky, but this jump is really hard there like that. And then you want to jump past this turret to the right. Hit that switch, go up here. Duck underneath this and duck up under this like corner and aim right here like the top of this like triangle shape and that'll hit the egg behind this turret after you blow up that egg relocate run forward go through here
by the way, at some point during this, you're probably going to have to duplicate uh, speed hypos. If you ride the tram doing the, the out of bounds route, you'll have time to dupe up to 10, and then you won't ever need to duplicate speed hypos anywhere in this area. If you're doing no out of bounds, you will need to dupe some here because you won't have enough time or nanites before this to have enough to go all the way through the Rickenbacker. So, just a word of warning to be careful with how many speed hypos you have left. Um, so yeah, when you get into this area, you want to mantle on top of this end of this fence thing. And you want to aim right here and then just run forward a jump like that. And sort of tap right strafe. Once you're over here, blow up this egg. Use the speed hypo to go up this ladder. Duck under this door. Blow up this egg. Reload. Uh, press this button here. That'll raise this. Mantle onto this. Move forward to the end. Tap back to don't, so you don't fall off. Then run forward and jump. Climb up this ladder. Well done. I'm uploading some more modules. Uh, you can either climb up this or climb up that ladder over there to get up to here. There's no speed dipole around here. And this is a good place to dupe if you're doing no out of bounds because you have plenty of time to dupe and run forward in like straight lines. Grab the Psy Ipo. Uh, max out your agility and get whatever Psy you can. And then blow up this last egg. Switch to agility. Then as you go through here, as soon as you land on this part, use the speed hypo. You can just run straight off there. You don't need to jump. Um, go to this corner. Aim for this corner. Run forward. Duck around that turret to the right. Climb up this ladder. Run up this ladder and then jump at a certain time. You need to jump over to here. And then if you still have the speed hypo going, you can just run and jump at this door like that. Otherwise, that pole is kind of hard to walk on. Uh, use agility. Open this door. Um, here's another thing. If you grab the two French Epstein devices to upgrade your rocket, your, your rocket launcher, your grenade launcher, in command doing the no out of bounds route, you don't need to grab this OS upgrade I'm about to. If you only grab the one in the Rickenbacker in the out of bounds route, then you'll need this to be able to kill a Shodan with two EMP grenades, um, which saves time. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Uh, go down this ladder. Somewhere around here you want to dupe your EMP grenades. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, go ahead and use agility here at the start of Body of the Mini. Shoot this out. Relocate. Go down here, shoot this out. Shoot this node, relocate around these corners like this. Use the speed hypo somewhere around here. Your location marker, shoot this wall. Back up, go through this tunnel like this. And here you'll have plenty of time to duplicate whatever you need left for the rest of the game. Now, the number you want to duplicate here just depends on um, whether you're doing inbounds or out of bounds. Inbounds you'll need more speed hypos because you have further to go. I'm not sure the exact number off the top of my head. If you leave this water area with four speed hypos, you have enough to do the entirety of the rest of the run uh, with some extras left over. If you don't do that, I think you need at least like uh, six or seven maybe when you leave the water, basically when you relocate back to the marker we just placed. So just relocate however much you, ha you can based on how many nanites you have. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. Six is plenty for this. You use one here, and I, I time that there. I use the speed hypo there in particular, so that when I get to a certain other point, it'll run out just in time to where I need it to run out to do some precision movement uh, that you couldn't do with the speed hypo because you'd be moving too fast. You shoot this node, relocate, go through here, sort of surf along these walls through here, down this hallway. And then up to here. Now this is where it diverges. I'm going to go ahead and show the rest of the game with the no out of bounds route and then I'll show um, what it looks like with uh, out of bounds. So I'm going to go ahead and make a save here. Uh, let's go ahead and save over this. I'm going to place a relocation marker. Jump onto this tooth. Actually no, you know what? I already screwed up. <laughs> I'm so used to the out of bounds route. 
Basic relocation marker. Switch to bounce. Stand like right about here. And when this tooth comes down, you want to aim at a specific point, which is this point right here. You can see how I'm aiming like in the middle of this. Use this speed hypo and then run this way. Um, normally you won't bounce like that. And that's one of the reasons why you place a relocation marker. But let me show you this again. Place a relocation marker, stand over here, bounce, shoot this point. Quick, uh, quick. Use the speed hypo and you want to run over there. And that'll open this door like that. But I keep missing because I'm embarrassing myself. Bounce, shoot, speed hypo, run. And then it puts you right over here. And that'll blow this door open. Run through these corridors. Switch to cryo somewhere around here. Shoot out this wall and then fall down here. Use another speed hypo here. Bounce up through here. And then bounce through this corridor. It's kind of hard because of all these vents and stuff and ledges. And then you get over here and you want to use Soma Transference on this guy. This is why you get Soma Transference. And that kills the body of the mini. You just want to fall down here. Use the speed hypo. And travel down this tube. Place the EMP grenades in there. Use another speed hypo. Then duplicate this if you can. Oops, I think I used one too many. Oh well, that's okay. I have enough for this whole area. Agility. Use a speed hypo as soon as you get down here. Run like this. Sort of curve yourself. Get as much heavy as you can. Run through here. This area is kind of hard to get through hard easily, but... Losing a little bit of time there isn't a big deal. Go through these corridors like this. Grab up the safe, safety Psy Hypo if you need it, if you're low on Psy. Um, this part changes a little bit. If you're new to this, you'll want to place a relocation marker up here at the top because in this section you can fall down and uh, you would have to load the autosave. And the thing is, loading the autosave to this area uh, changes the pattern that Shodan's shields move in for the boss fight, which you'll see in a second. So that's really bad. So what you can do is if you fall down, you can relocate back up here to the top and try again. But if you're once you're good at the game, you'll not want to play place a relocation marker here. And you'll want to put one down at the bottom, which I'll show right now. Um, you just want to aim at this corner and just walk straight forward and then let go. So you fall into this and then just tap forward, let go. You'll fall into this and then move over here. And here's where you want to go. Now, depending on how you jump into this hole right here, you'll move at different speeds. Um, to get the fastest fall possible, uh, M1 Account came up with this setup. You want to look straight down on this line right here, place a relocation marker, and then run forward and then jump uh, like that. And basically what you want to aim for is the opposite line from this one that you're on right now, on the other side of this T-shape. Uh, and when your cursor goes over that, that's when you jump. So, like that. And you can see I got it. That time I failed. Um, and it went slow. But, yeah. That's basically it. You want to make sure your grenade launcher has the MP grenades and you're set to contact. Shoot the left shield as soon as it changes, like that. And then shoot the middle shield. And then just jump in and shoot shot in twice. And again, you can tell I have the, the updated... The... the uh, what do you call them? The high-res textures because Shodan's face looks way different in the vanilla version. So yeah, that's it for the, the no out-of-bounds. Now, stepping up to out-of-bounds is quite a bit different. Um, the way that works is there's two more skips you do, and it skips quite a bit of what I showed. So, everything up to the body of the mini, to where you go to the teeth room, the room with the big teeth that go up and down, is the same. But in this room, you'll want to do something different, which is you want to jump onto this tooth. And you want to aim for this corner right here and mantle onto this and time your quick your relocation marker like that. 
Once that's placed, you just tap forward and relocate like this. And it didn't work. That doesn't work sometimes. Um, it's kind of hard. You want to aim right at this corner like this and then relocate like that. Tap forward, relocate, and it didn't work again. Dang, I'm glad I got to show that even me who came up with this stuff isn't perfect. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it this time. Come on. Aim here, relocate, tap forward, and then relocate, and you'll see I'm in the ground again, like before. You want to go over here to this left side and get kind of up in this corner and aim right here where this oblong shape is. You just want to aim towards the middle of it like that. Get out of this room. Sometimes you get stuck here, by the way, like I just did. That's really bad. Um, you can avoid that by basically aiming for the center and strafe running and you'll kind of bounce out of here like that um, and you want to come over here down to this corner you want to face this way and aim like straight down and just tap backwards and you can see that after a while you get stuck in this corner right here then you want to aim your mouse cursor um, it's kind of hard to see actually you know what I'll do I'll pump the gamma way up so you can see this um, there's these two white dots on the wall right here. It's probably still hard to see, but there's like a white thing, a white thing, and a white thing. You want to aim right here. Just basically take a good look at the, the screen and see where I'm aiming. You want to aim right exactly here. Um, and what that does, it does is it allows you to set up for this trick. Um, what you want to do is once you have this set up, maybe quick save uh, for safety's sake, Use the speed iPhone. What you want to do is strafe left and run forward at the same time. And then as soon as you're moving, uh, hold whatever your forward lean button is. And then shortly after that, you want to relocate. The timing for this is kind of hard, but I'll do it a few times so you can see. Um, so run lean, relocate. And I, w I went too slow, so I bounced and I just fell into nothing. Because I was trying to say words, <laughs> basically. So I'll do this again a little bit faster. There. And you can see how it pushes me this way, and I line straight up with the end of the level, like this, and that's it. So I'll do it again. Aim right here. Uh, strafe run, and then lean forward, and then relocate. And I did it too slow. Run forward, relocate, and there we go. During this, you want to upgrade your grenade launcher, put in the EMP grenades. You load this map, use a quick, use a, not quick, use a... Speed hypo. Run over here like normal. Grab the heavy. Upgrade. Then you want to stand here. Get relocation. You want to mantle onto this and then relocate like that. Then you want to move forward and relocate so that you're in this section. Stay around here on this back end. Face this way. Place your relocation marker. Step out. And then you'll want to run forward, duck, and then relocate like this. And that'll send you through the ground and right into Shodan's chamber. And then you just shoot her twice on the way down, and that's it. So, uh, yeah, that's it, basically. Um, all pretty straightforward, I think. <laughs> I can understand why some of those tricks will be very strange and maybe not make sense and be really hard um, when you first try to do them. But, trust me, it's not as bad as it seems. Uh, things are uh, not as hard once you've practiced them quite a bit. But yeah, that covers it. That covers both the inbounds and out-of-bounds. I'm sorry if it was a little bit confusing because I kind of went back and forth between the two. Um, but hopefully everything will be straightened out and this will be useful to someone wanting to learn this game. So uh, until next time, uh, see you later.